In the insurance business, it's fairly common to get the same questions over and over from clients and prospects. And I like to make uh, short videos to explain some of the more frequently asked questions. And one of them has to do with non-admitted insurance companies. People want to know what does it mean to be a non-admitted insurance company? I'm going to be back to explain that and uh, give you some tips in just a moment. Here at Fusco Orsini and Associates, we write lots of insurance for contractors, manufacturers, uh, people that own bars and restaurants. You know, these tend to be industries that are have above normal risk. Uh, the likelihood of them having a liability claim or maybe even a property claim or higher than most others. So we're familiar with non-admitted insurance companies. In California, construction companies have lots of experience and they tend to insure with non-admitted carriers because standard carriers or preferred carriers don't typically write in higher risk industries. This is the same for other states as well. So what does it mean to be non-admitted? Non-admitted does not mean that the insurance company is inadequate or uh, smaller or less capitalized than an admitted carrier. Uh, it simply means that the carrier does not participate in that state's guarantee fund. In case they were going solvent, the state would pick up future claims on their behalf. Now, in all my years and all my experience in the insurance industry, I have seen more admitted companies go insolvent than non-admitted companies. Uh, a lot of that has to do with the amount of time it takes for an admitted carrier to get their filings approved from the Department of Insurance or maybe get their rates increased or decreased for that matter or you know maybe some changes in their policy language or policy form. In higher risk industries that tends to be uh, necessary and companies choose to work in, in certain states on a non-admitted basis for that reason. Now it's also common that a carrier could be non-admitted in one state and admitted in another. Just happens to to depend on their filing and how they if they want to participate in the guarantee association. Also, if a if a business has a history of claims or or losses, uh, sometimes non-admitted carriers really the only way they can they can become insured. Lots of the non-admitted carriers that we work with uh, provide very strong coverage, provide great policy forms. Uh, they're large insurance companies, many times A12 to A15 rated with plus or plus plus ratings from AM Best. So it doesn't mean that it's an insult, I mean, a uh, inadequate or smaller insurance company by any means. Again, really has to do with whether they want to participate in the guarantee fund and uh, whether they, how they choose to transact business in a particular state. If you have any questions about this or anything else for that matter, f feel free to reach out to me or anyone at our agency. Our phone number is 858-384-1507. And please remember to follow us across social media for more helpful tips. Thanks again for watching.